Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, hello and welcome. My name is Robin and I'm so happy to have you here. And if you already subscribed, welcome back. In today's video, I am sharing with you the contents of my Fashion Fix It kit or just the basket that I have all of my Fashion Fix It supplies and tools. Um, it's not a whole lot, but I thought that I would share with you, share with you, um, the tools that I use, not always on a regular basis, but just tools and supplies that I use when I'm having like a fashion emergency. I have this um, kit, that's, that's what I'm calling it, a kit, just to try to make it sound a little fancy. Um, I have the kit in my master closet and that's because I, you know, my clothes are here, my shoes are here, and I also iron my clothing in my closet so I thought that it would be best if it was here now if you iron your clothing and all that in a cloth or in your laundry room I think that that would probably be the best place to store it because you don't want to need something and not know where it is or it not be at hand ready to use when you need it so without further ado let's jump into what's in this kit of mine okay so first I want to start by showing you where um, my kit is in my closet. It's sitting on um, the bottom of one of my um, wardrobe units in this basket. This is just a basket I've had for years. Um, probably got it from like TJ Maxx or Marshalls or something like that. But yeah, it's just a simple basket with um, two acrylic bins to further add on to the OCD of my organization but I just wanted to give you a quick look at kind of like the size of it and where it sits in my closet so that's the kit itself let's go ahead and get into the contents of the kit so um like I stated before I actually iron my clothes in my closet so the first thing is my iron and I'll be sure to link as many of the items as I can below it's not it hasn't been on all day um, so it's not hot but this is a very very good iron it's by the brand cheese so that's the brand that makes like the um, ceramic um, and terranium flat irons I haven't had any issues out of this iron at all and I've had it for probably about four or five years um it's very good quality it was i would say a little pricey for an iron but for the price you're definitely getting your money's worth i haven't had any burns um i really hadn't had any issues with um talc or any um build up or anything like that on the iron so i think it's definitely worth the worth the price and if i can um find a link i'll definitely link it in the description box um and on that same note i have my handheld steamer and i hear a lot of people say that they don't like to iron i actually love iron ironing i prefer an iron over a steamer and i think it's because it could be the brand of this one this is electrolux which i thought was or think i think it's a very good brand for um steamers and things like that but steamers get your clothes damp right and I haven't had a whole lot of success with getting wrinkles out, honestly. Um, every time I steam something, there are still wrinkles in it. When you get to like a corner or like, you know, like the sleeve, like if you are um, wearing um, a shirt with structured sleeves or a jacket or something with a point here, like you can't really get into that area. And it could be because I just love when my clothes are really straight and wrinkle free i don't like any wrinkles and maybe people that like steamers don't care as much about wrinkles i don't know but i'll definitely link it below um but i definitely prefer to iron over steaming um i know that's probably very unpopular but it is what it is um i also have these uh did you hear that it sounds real crazy um shoe stretcher contraptions in here and yeah so you like stick this in your shoe so you see how it kind of looks like the tip of a shoe or your foot um and you just twist it 
and these come apart of oh, it's not doing it probably because oh there it is it is this actually widens so it's coming apart so these um are used to widen or stretch your shoes so i have and this it comes in a set of two one for each shoe of course i have this in the kit then I also have this contraption to fold shirts and sweaters and sweatshirts and things like that. Um, if you display your shirts, um, I think this is a, is a really cool tool to use because it ensures that your tops are essentially the same width. Um, so they look really nice and presented sitting on your shelves. So those are all the items that are like just sitting in the basket. Now I'm going to go into those two acrylic bins um, that are in the basket. And I'll start with the, the one on the bottom because they sit together on top of each other like this. Um, I'll start with the one on the bottom. And in this I have the two attachments. There's a, a brush attachment for the steamer. And there's also another attachment. I'm not really sure what this is, but I hadn't used either one of them. Um, I have the adapter for my defuzzer or de-pillar, however you, whatever you call that thing. And then I also have a belt hole punch. So this is such an amazing tool. And it's almost like who even knew that these types of things existed? This is so great if you have belts and um, your waist and your hips, like most women, are different widths. So you can buy a belt that fits your actual um, waistline where your pants fit if they're not high rise. And you can actually add another hole or as, hole, as many holes as you need to bring it up. So if you want to wear a belt with your dresses that don't come with belts or anything like that, this contraption allows you to actually punch additional holes in your belt. And I have used this um, before and it's really easy. I mean, like you literally just press down. Well, this is the way you press down. You press down and the hole just pops out. Like it's just very seamless very very easy to use and then the second bin actually has my sewing kit i recently got this off of amazon i think it comes with 25 spools of thread a ton of different colors the whole rainbow it has pins it has needles a seam ripper um a white pencil that's what you use when you're marking fabric um that's the seam ripper scissors um nail clipper some safety pins other pins to pin fabric down thimble tweezers just a very very nice uh kit for sewing so like if you need to uh sew a, a button back on or anything like that or you get a hole or a snag excuse me um, everything that you need is here, literally. I also have um, fabric, um, what do you call it? Fabric spray. This is actually linen and room spray, but I love the smell of it. So I spray it on my clothing when I take something off. Um, if I've only worn it once, there are no stains or anything like that. I just spray everything down and hang it up in my closet so that, you know, the, the fabric of my clothing just always smells as fresh as possible. Then I have some shoe stretch. This is something that I got off Amazon. Another um, supply that you can use to stretch your shoes if they're a little tight, if you have a little swelling going on, you can spray that on the interior of your shoes and it stretches them out a little bit. Then I have some iron off, which is um, cleaner when you get stains and build up on your iron. You put this on a little cloth and you just rub it across the spot on your iron, iron which is great. And it works like magic. Like it, it just works. The stains come off. Then I have the plastic clean and shine, which I'm going to keep because it's almost a full bottle. Um, in a couple of videos ago, I posted 
um, how I clean my truffles. So this is what I used to use and now I'm just going to stick to essential oils. But just in case I have any other plastic bags or anything like that, I'm not going to get rid of this because I bought it. It'll still be there. I have the um, container to fill my iron up with water and my steamer if I need to. And then this is the defuzzer. It's handheld. It's um, rechargeable. It's by the brand Conair. I got it off of Amazon and it is amazing. It's all, it also serves as like a um, lint remover also, but it gets all of those little, you know, the little beaded up pieces of fabric that you get on like your sweaters or if you're a girl with thick thighs, you know, the inside of your leggings and things like that, get the little fuzzy balls on them. This removes that really easy um i also have three different cloths like i have this cloth and it's just a white piece of fabric actually um very old but i use this when i iron over um delicate fabric so i'm not burning any of my clothing i put that over it cheese cloth is actually the same thing i actually think that's what this is called but it's like a thicker piece of fabric and then this is the cloth that I will use um, when I am getting or removing stains off of my iron. So you just would put a, a dot of this on the towel and in a circular motion, you just rub over the stubborn little buildup and it literally just pops off. And then last but not least, I have some double sided tape. So this is something, and I haven't used these before, but I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that they're okay. Um, you use this to stick to garments where you may have like a little gap or something like that and you want the um, garment to press or stay against your skin. I've also seen people use this um, when they're wearing a top or something like that that may pop open because, you know, your cleavage may, you know, keep your shirt from staying together and you can put a piece of double-sided tape there instead of a safety pin or something else like that you can use that to secure your clothing so that's all that's in my fashion fix it kit i hope you guys really enjoyed this video i really wanted to jump on to share it with you like i said i think all of the tools all of the supplies are essential to um, anybody really, I would say women, but anybody, if, um, you want to ensure that your clothing stays, um, in good condition, you don't want to spend money all the time to get a button re or something like that. You don't want to walk out if a button pops off with a safety pin. If you have these supplies at hand, you can always fix it in a snap and you know where your supplies and your tools are and you don't have to look all over your house to find them. So if you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to reach 1,000 followers by the end of 2022 and you can help me get there by subscribing and sharing my videos with your family and friends. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.